What is going on guys? Sticks 10 here. Today we're going to do some Ultra League prep for Go Battle League. Taking a look at the Pokemon we've got. We've got about five Pokemon ready to go for Ultra League. A few more need some char uh, fast TMs and some need a second charge move. So let's go in. We're going to lead Togekiss. First off, I lose the lead here. Um, definitely a bad deal there. Um, and his muck has poison jab, so we are going to switch out into our Lolan muck. And then he switches in to uh, Metagross here. Uh, good matchup for me. Dark Pulse. Uh, going to do quite a bit of damage there. And he does char he does uh, decide to block that. So we are going to go for another Dark Pulse. And that is super effective. And going to KO the Metagross. Uh, you can see Snarl going to charge up a lot of energy very quickly. And in comes his uh, Venusaur. And we're in a pretty good position here. Uh, not too worried. This friendly plant shouldn't do too much, and I'm going to do a gunk shot here. Um, he does have a shield, but we're just going to try to get it. Uh, let's see. Uh, we could have went Dark Pulse there, but I actually switch into my Giratina. He switches back into Muck. And here comes a Sludge Wave. So we are going to hit an Ancient Power here. And then... Uh, we actually do get the boost, so that is really good for us. Uh, at this point, I know I'm just going to go Dragon Claw. Um, let's see if that almost KOs Muck. We're going to build up some energy, and we're going to shield whatever else comes in. Uh, we're sitting in a pretty good position here against Venusaur. Uh, Dragon Claw, not going to KO. Um, you can see Ultra League, guys, uh, definitely everything's a little tankier. So we're going to shield here. I don't necessarily need to. Uh, could have saved that shield, but might as well. Uh, and we're going to get the Dragon Claw, and that's going to be GG's for this first game against Super Saint Spaz. Uh, I'm just doing best ones for the most part in this video, just trying out against different trainers. We're going to go up against Bulba Trainer Sore here, and we're going to go Togekiss again uh, into Moltres. I'm just testing this line, see if I like it. Uh, I think one thing I could swap, uh, like Swampert in for... Um, for one of these for sure but we are gonna togekiss is gonna take this ancient power and oh that does a ton uh so definitely should have shielded that i uh, wasn't sure what he was rocking on his moltres um but and come in with giratina here's the thing guys i have been hitting some lag here occasionally i'm on strong wi-fi you can see a couple he got at least a couple of fast moves off no big deal i know it's not a um exploit or anything i know it's just server side lag i've had it happen quite a bit in these games so definitely something going on on niantic side i know looking at their uh, trouble tickets uh, they are investigating trying to figure out what's going on there is definitely something going on there i've seen quite a few people posting about it uh, we're going to do the ancient power into the lapras um, probably could have just went dragon claw um, and i do another ancient power just trying to get uh, get through that, but he double shields Slapras, so uh, it's going to be a pretty um, good, and here we go, Dark Pulse, see how much this does to the Lapras, I don't think it's going to, yeah, about half, a little under half, so I'm uh, going to shield up for this Ice Beam, uh, it's actually Surf, so, um, and then this is probably going to be an Ice Beam, yeah, there's the Ice Beam, okay, so, uh, we're going to do another Dark Pulse here. This is going to get him pretty low, if not KO. Uh, pretty, pretty low there. Let's see if Snarl can knock him out. And it can. Uh, so last Pokemon in is going to be a Venusaur. Um, probably could have charged up to a Gunk Shot there. But we were pretty close to getting KO'd. And there we go. And going to bring it back in into a Frenzy Plant. So that's going to be GG's for that. Uh, good games there. Um, definitely, um, definitely, uh, need to bring something else. We'll go up against Dakota here. Uh, we're going to bring our Togekiss against Swampert. Um, this isn't a great, like, matchup for us. Charm, you can see it's chunking him down. Uh, I want to see how much, uh, Hydro Cannon actually does. I'm going to guess it does at least half. Yeah, just about. And you can see he is going to get to another one very very quickly we're going to shield that up and we're going to uh, just keep hitting charm 
we swap into our Garatina. Uh, Charizard comes in, which is fine. Uh, we're going to Ancient Power here. Uh, hoping he doesn't shield. Uh, we'll be able to KO that Charizard fairly quickly. He does decide to shield. So we're going to go for another one here in a second. This is going to be a Dragon Claw. Let's see. It does, it does a little chunk there. He's not getting stab on his Charizard, so that does help us a little bit. And there's the Ancient Power. This will KO um, if it goes through. He actually decides to shield again. So now we're sitting pretty good. I decide I'm going to shield mine up. And we're going to go for another Ancient Power. I definitely could have uh, there. Went for a Dragon Claw at one of those. And that would have helped me. Um, but Ancient Power is going to KO. No problem here. Um, and there, and we actually get the boost. So now Togekiss comes in. Normally would be uh, we'd be dead before uh, we knew it hit us really with that charm. But we're able to get to another Ancient Power. And that nearly KOs the Togekiss. And actually we do get the KO there. And then in comes Swampert. We're going to be able to hit... Man, guys. If you get that boost on Garatina, um, man, it's just crazy. So, GG's. Uh, that boost definitely helped us uh, for sure. We're going up against Sky Ladder. And we're going Charm versus Charm here. This Cliff Able. Uh, we're going to charge all the way up to Ancient Power and hit it. Uh, my only hope here is really if I get a boost, he is going to... Um, since I hit Charm, we'd, I think we'd simultaneously could KO at this point, but I uh, actually blocked it. I do get a boost, so guys, boost, boost, boost all around. Just crazy, because, uh, I mean, I guess I have two things that can get a boost. Uh, so we're going to be able to get a couple, maybe two off, depending on what comes in. See what it is. If it's a poison user or something, not going to get a whole lot off. And I, I decide I can't get to the flamethrower probably. I'm going to get KO'd. So I just hit the ancient power to get a little chip damage. Uh, you can see we did a little chunk there to Steelix. And I don't have anything to deal with Steelix. Um, definitely I have a Typhlosion um, that is ready to go. And I've got a uh, Swampert that I need to charge up. So those are definitely two things that I could uh, help me here. Obviously uh, I should have shielded that. And I didn't think he was close enough to an earthquake. Um, but he did get some energy off my, uh, Togekiss, so should have, uh, paid better attention there, guys, to counting. Uh, we're gonna hit another Dark Pulse. You can see that just chunks so well. Um, Ludicolo comes in. So here we're gonna charge up. And we're going to block. Uh, we're gonna hit the Dragon Claw here. Uh, Ice Beam does quite a bit. Uh, gonna get this shield hopefully on this bait. Um, I don't think an ancient power would KO though. Um, so going to hit an ancient power here and let's see if we can get this. Yeah, see it doesn't do a whole lot. I think Dragon Claw would be better honestly. Better better use of my energy. I have to look at that. Uh, obviously like not everything he's using is like super meta, but I kind of like just testing against a whole bunch of variety of things. That's why I was just taking different battles. Uh, these are back-to-backs with different ones. So we do win that one. And here's the next one. We bring out our Typhlosion versus... Uh, we catch the lead here um, with that Alolan Ninetales. He switches into um, Kingdra. And then we're going to switch into our Togekiss there. I actually think that's a pretty good way to run it, guys. Um, I do like that a lot. And we're going to... Kingdra is going to go down. Um, if we can lock him in, if we win the lead and then lock him into some bad matchup with Togekiss, you can see Togekiss just wrecked. Um, and then this is not a great matchup for us. Um, and we're just going to hit that Ancient Power, um, get the shield, and then if he, yeah, he just saves his energy there. Uh, that, uh, looks like he's got Poison Jab on that. We're going to hit a Blast Burn here into this. Uh, he decides to shield it up. And then we're going to shield up in exchange to this uh, Acid Spray. Oh, man. My defense fell there. Um, I am going to double shield this Typhlosion because I, I've got a pretty good matchup once I hit this uh, Blast Burn. It should pretty much KO. 
and then in comes Lola Ninetales. We're able to get to another Blast Burn, and that's going to finish this game off here. Um, definitely GG there. Um, and into the next one, still going up against the same trainer. We did do a best of three, and that's what I actually think. Um, I wish Go Battle League was like in sets of three or best of threes. Uh, I think it gives a little bit more strategy. Um, maybe, you you know, you might catch a bad lead against somebody and you can figure out, okay, maybe if I do X, Y, Z or bring a different Pokemon or something like that, maybe it'd be a little bit better. I know they're just trying to get them all, like, basically as many battles in as quickly as possible. Um, so, but that's one thing I do like about the Sylph Cups. Uh, we will have a video for the Sylph uh, Arena Cup coming up shortly. That'll be the next video. Um, but I did want to get this Ultra League Battles out uh, since that is going to launch a Monday. So hopefully you guys have something ready. Uh, I would suggest, you know, just look at over um, PV Poke, some of those ratings. I'd go for, if you don't have anything built, I'd just build some budget options. Um, you know, don't spend a whole lot this time around. It's only two weeks and it's just preseason. So, um, but get something that you feel comfortable with. Uh, PV Poke has some good ideas on teams if you look on their Twitter account. Stuff. Uh, so Giratina definitely, uh, this is origin form Giratina and it's got Shadow Ball. So we're going to bring in our Giratina. This shit is going to be a win for us. Uh, going to hit those Dragon Claws. And that's going to uh, do quite a number on that Giratina. We're going to shield up. I believe it's going to be a Shadow Ball. I don't think he has a second move on his yet. And that's something you're likely to run into, guys, in Ultra League. Like, And see here again, a little bit of lag there. Um, but it, you, it caught up fairly quickly. Um, and here I'm in a pretty bad position because uh, I don't have a shield and a Shadow Ball is going to come. So that's going to be GG's there for sure. Uh, thank you, Skylighter Ty, for those games. And I do want to mention, as we're going out of here, thank you to our new patron, uh, X. Skippo or Aaron, uh, thank you very much for that. And guys, leave a like, leave a comment, uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, guys, keep on battling.